<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Kino here. This 20 minute yoga practice will get you through the entire body in a relatively calm, relaxed and accessible way. So come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes. As you exhale, softly open the eyes and rest your hands down to any comfortable position. And let's begin by moving the spine in a gentle twist. Inhale, lift the spine up out of the pelvis and then exhale, we're gonna twist just over to the right. Keep your fingertips on the ground and keep it nice and easy. We'll hold for five breaths, two, Three, keep the belly drawn deeply in. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale there. Now we're gonna go over to the other side. So inhale, lift the center of the chest up and the ribs away from the hips. Exhale, twist over to the left. Keep the navel drawn in, nice and easy. One, keep breathing. We'll stay for about five breaths. Two, really draw the ribs up and away from the hips. Four, and five, inhale back to the center. Exhale, just shake that out for a little bit. Then pop over onto your hands and knees and staying here in what's called the tabletop position. Grip your fingertips, keep your hands shoulder width apart and your knees about hips width apart. And let's hold this for five breaths. One, keep the spine relatively neutral. Two, Nice and easy, three, four, almost there, five. Okay, let's roll through some cat and cow motions to again, just mobilize the spine. Inhale, roll through to a spinal extension. Exhale, round, pull it under. Inhale, roll through the hip joints into a spinal extension. Exhale, round and pull it all the way under. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, roll through your extension. Exhale, round, let's pull it under. Then draw your knees in towards each other and exhale back to child's pose. Just lean back into your child's pose, keeping the arms outstretched. We'll stay here for a few breaths, letting your weight pour down through the hip joints, releasing the lower back, opening through the shoulders, keep it nice and easy. Mind remains calm and inwardly focused. Then inhale, let's gently lift the head up and a wide child's pose. So open the knees and then exhale, drop your chest down in between and this almost like a frog stretch. And you can drop the top of the head down and again, we'll stay for a couple breaths. Keep it nice and easy, no force. Just let yourself breathe steady and deep. One more long deep breath and inhale, let's lift the head up and exhale, come on back to your tabletop position. From tabletop, I want you to curl the toes under and we'll find the way back to downward facing dog. So inhale, lift the hips back and up and here we are, downward facing dog. Stay for five breaths and really feel the shoulders rolling open. Feel the hips moving back and up. And again, just keep breathing. Steady, calm. Keep the mind really focused on the sensations. Remember not to judge the body. Just be where you are. Feel what you feel. Okay, then let's roll forward again, dropping the knees down. And I'm gonna put my hair up now. So we're gonna come up into plank next, all right? So plank position. I love plank to really build strength. So now, starting off, hands and knees, then step one leg back and use that leg to really tuck the tailbone under. 
Then inhale, next leg back, and we'll hold it for a couple breaths and hold this nice and steady plank pose. One, two, keep breathing. Three, really press up from the shoulders and keep leaning a little forward. Four, almost there. Five, okay, let's sink the knees down. Release the spine, long, deep inhale. Long, deep exhale all the way under. Curl your toes again and inhale again. Back to downward facing dog. Your feet stay hips width apart, shoulders rolling away from the spine. And just long, steady, deep breaths. Feel the body from the inside out. Feel the mind calming down. Then let's switch the gaze forward and inhale. Step your right foot forward, coming long into a parallel position with the pelvis, staying up on the left toes. And just hold that up there for a moment. Keep the pelvis pointed forward and then inhale. Press into your right leg. And this is pretty intense for the legs. Just hold that for a moment. Nice and easy, hands in prayer, working both that right quadricep and the front of the left hip open. And we'll just keep it steady, keep it easy. And then exhale, let's drop the hands down and drop the left knee down. Then dropping all the way over so your left hip points towards the ground for a very gentle twist. Hold it there for a moment, and if it feels comfortable for you, you can bend your left knee, reaching back, holding on with your right hand. Really press up with your left shoulder just for a little bit. We'll just hold that there. Any hamstring cramp, you want to let it go and just softly reach back or even drop the foot back down. And again, just holding here. Nice and easy, one more breath, and then exhale, let's come on back to the center. Square your shoulders, then curl the left toes under and inhale, straighten the leg all the way back to plank. Okay, let's find your plank position. And now, come all the way down to the ground. You can do this by bending the knees, and this looks like a push-up position until you gently place the chest all the way down. Then point your feet, Inhale, lift the chest up, press through the arms, and you'll come up to what's called upward facing dog. So lifting the spine up out of the pelvis, then exhale, roll over the toes, and press back to downward facing dog. We're gonna do the whole thing on the other side. So drawing the navel in, inhale, step your left foot forward, keeping the pelvis square. Drop down through the right hip, and then inhale, come up, and as you come up, then you'll feel the strength needed through the pressing back through the right leg and your hands in prayer. We'll just hold that for a couple breaths. Feel the strength through the left leg and the opening through the front of the right hip. It's all good. Stay there for another moment, then exhale, drop that right knee down. Take the right hand on the ground and then just slide through. Keep it easy and soft. No force, no fight, just breathing. Keep it easy and soft. And then press up a little bit into your right hand, bending the left, and then just gently reach back and see what feels right for the body. You wanna find a place to work. Watch the left knee and make sure it's not winging too much out to the side, but instead, just keep it relatively in line with the left foot. Draw the navel in and keep it relatively active, almost like you're pushing back a little bit with your right foot if you can catch hold of it. We'll be here for one more breath. So just take it easy, nice and casual. And don't overdo it. Release, inhale back to the center. Let's take your hands back to about shoulder width apart. Curl the right toes under and inhale, come on back to plank position. Find your plank position and keep it real strong. Then you can shoot those knees down to the ground. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up, nice and easy. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. And we find downward facing dog starts to be a comfortable, calm place to rest the mind, 
and to rest the body. A nice neutral position to help relieve stress and drop your attention more and more inward. Okay, let's switch your gaze forward. Then exhale, drop your knees to the ground. Walk them a little bit forward. Cross your feet underneath you and then exhale, let's sit all the way down. Now, moving into some seated poses, stretch your legs out in front, let's flex the feet. And as you flex the feet, drop your hands near the pelvis. Just get comfortable sitting here for a few breaths. Calming the mind, steady, deep breathing. Now we'll work our forward fold, so just drop your fingers forward. Inhale, long, steady, deep breath in. And then exhale, just gently pivot forward a little bit. Then scoot a little to the right, you're gonna drop that left hip back. Scoot a little to the left, you're gonna drop the right hip back. Then switch your hands, maybe holding on to your shin bones or holding on to your big toes. Inhale, straighten the arms, a long deep breath in, feel your body. Don't force, just feel. Exhale, fold and drop the head gently down. Stay here breathing, feeling. Keep the mind calm. Attention drops inward. Tune into that unique connection between breath and body. Give it one more long, deep breath. Give the body a chance to just soften, release, open. Release any tension in the shoulders and in the fingers. Then inhale, let's lift the head up and exhale there. Inhale, lift the spine all the way up, then bend your right knee and drop the right knee over. So now we're gonna work a twisting posture. Twisting poses are great to bring energy up the spine and just keep your whole body really well aligned. So now inhale, lift the center of the chest as you hug the left knee into the chest, taking the right arm behind you. Then just look over to the right for a couple breaths. Feeling that twist along the spine and again, deep resonant breaths. Keep it easy and soft. If it feels comfortable for you, you might spiral your right hand down and hold on to the foot. But really, no stress, no force. If it feels better for you to just be back here holding the knee, it's all good. We'll take maybe one more breath here. And inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale, let's straighten your legs. Then let's try the other side. Okay, let's bend the left knee. So if you bend the left knee, not too much in for this one, so you keep it relatively open. Then pop it on over to the other side. Drop the elbow around the left knee. Don't twist immediately from there because now you need to lift. So find the center of the chest and inhale. Lift the center of the chest and move your body around so you can really feel a deep fold into that space behind the pubic bone, into that quiet space in the inner body where it's a little uncomfortable between the ribs and the hips. It's exactly what the posture is meant to be doing. Then we can roll, you can think about holding onto your thigh and rolling around only if your shoulder really feels comfortable here. But again, if not, you can just go back holding on. This is a perfectly good way to work the posture when we're in yoga. There's no competition. There's just what is. So we just breathe and be aware of whatever you feel. Okay, let's come on back into the center. Exhale there, bend both of your knees, point the feet, wiggle around to make sure that your spine feels good, and then inhale, straighten the arms. And this is the prepare for this wonderful posture everyone loves called Navasana or the boat pose. Boat pose really targets the core of the body. So feel the core of the body, this part right here, really squeezing in, then lift your feet off the ground. Try to keep the spine lifting up out of the pelvis and we'll hold this for five breaths. And deep, steady breathing. Your knees spiral towards each other. The mind is calm, resonant breaths. It's all good, steady breathing. Almost there, don't give up. 
Almost there, don't give up. Really squeeze the pelvic floor too. Okay, cross your feet underneath you. Let's hide those feet underneath your thighs. Take your hands forward and then remember plank pose. So let's come on back to plank. Inhale, plank. You can drop the knees down, exhale, bend the elbows, and inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in, exhale, downward facing. Now from downward facing again, let's drop your knees to the ground, cross your feet underneath you, and then exhale, come on down. Now let's work a straddle position, but not too wide, so just open the feet, spread them apart, keeping the feet relatively in a, like a V shape. And take your hands on the ground in between. And then exhale, just gently walk it a little bit forward. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. One, I want you to really count your breaths and feel in and out of the body. Two, nice and easy. You might feel comfortable dropping down to the elbows. Three, you can keep the feet gently pointed, four, almost there, keep breathing, You're doing really well, five, inhale gently, come up, press into your fingertips, and then press the right hand down, inhale, lift the left arm, and then we'll gently lean over, and you can change your hand position, and just gently lean over to the side, Stay there for one more breath. Keep the length and space of the ribs lifting away from the hips. And then inhale back to the center. We'll try the other side. Inhale, lift your right arm and then just lean over, over, drawing the ribs up and away from the hips. Again, we're almost there. Feel your breath, feel your body, but don't force. One more breath. Inhale, back to the center, exhale there. Okay, let's bend the knees, bringing the heels in towards each other. And then you can find the space here for the posture called Baddha Konasana. The heels press into each other, the bases of the little toes press into each other, and your ribs lift up and away from the hips. Now your knees might be more elevated than mine, that's okay. Just stay here, breathing, feeling, not forcing for a couple breaths. Steady breathing, keep the mind nice and calm. Long, deep breaths, just feel what you feel. Tune into the body and notice, how does my body feel? What are the signs and signals that my body is giving me right now? How can I listen to that and honor that rather than force it or judge the body? You might be feeling tension in some muscles. See if you can soften and let that go. We'll take one more breath here, then hold underneath your knees. Inhale, draw the knees up into your chest and just give yourself a light squeeze. Then, pointing yourself forward on your mat, exhale, roll the spine gently down. Now let's work this posture called the simple bridge pose. Simple bridge is a backbending posture that can simultaneously strengthen the thighs, and strengthen your back muscles. Let's take the hands on the ground near your feet. Roll the knees towards each other, and then pressing forward with the pelvis and the knees, start to let the hips elevate. But avoid squeezing the glutes. You'll push the knees out, so keep the knees pointed in line with the feet. Then roll your shoulders underneath you, and keeping the fingers near the heels for a moment, you could support the back by walking the elbows even more in and resting your hands on your sacrum. So this makes it more soft, but if you want a little more activity, then press into the legs, and remember, keep those thighs rolling towards each other. Interlock your fingers underneath your body and pressing the hands into the ground lifting the chest up and we'll stay there again just for another breath if your thighs are burning that is no problem just observe that the thighs are burning we're going to stay for one more breath and then exhale let's scoop the pelvis down super good okay let's draw the knees into the chest 
Give yourself a little squeeze in here, a little roll from side to side. Then take the hands on the ground and inhale, lift the legs up. This posture of Viparita Karani, if you've been on your feet all day, this is a wonderful pose to just let blood and circulation come back to the body. We're really working now integration as your breath and body come back into unity. Steady breathing, feel the mind calming down, the mind calming down, nice and easy. Okay, let's bend the knees, stretch out the legs, and lie down for just a few moments of rest. Feel the body restored, the mind calm down, the breath moving into deeper levels of awareness. And then allow yourself a long deep breath in as you start to reawaken the body. Move your feet, your head, your hands, arms and legs in a little shake. Then bend the knees and the elbows again. Give yourself a little squeeze in and say thanks to your body for doing this practice. Let's roll over to the side and then rest for a moment. Inhale, come all the way back up. Keep the eyes closed. And stretch out the arms. Tips of the index fingers and the thumbs together. Deep breathing. Feel the breath moving in and out of the body, the fingers in yoga mudra. If you're super sensitive, you could even feel your heartbeat at the place where your index fingers touch your thumbs. Just feel that for a moment in the quiet space of the inner body. Then gently bring your hands together. Feel the heart space expand in a field of compassion, kindness, and love. Holding yourself and all beings in an open field of compassion, kindness, and love. Oh. Thank you so much for joining everyone. I hope you feel that little bit more peaceful and that you can carry that into your life. Thanks so much for tuning in everyone. Namaste.